What's going on guys? It's Kobe from Team Bropire here with Sam Cox from the Arlington Regional and he played I played Fluffles today, uh, surprisingly. Top 32. And uh, what, do you, what do you think is your hardest matchup Team today? Team Bropire's own Sam Cox. <laughs> uh, I don't know. National hardest one today. National two-time national qualifier with Fluffles. Oh my goodness. The hardest one oh today my was goodness. probably like... Check your decks. And infernoids. So okay, so you, you know, before we really get you know deep into the to the fluffles, you know, what happened to your deck today, man? So my deck got jacked. Um, yeah, uh, they came somebody, through. I, wish I don't you know. Would saw his face where it kicked his fucking teeth. Like, my, my, I don't, I don't know. My, my deck got stolen because somebody, somebody picked it up off the table and then gave it to, uh, turn it in, and then the judge was like, "Yeah, is this anybody's deck?" And then some, some random guy was just like, "It's my deck," and then the judge gave him the deck. And then um, not only did he like not ask him like security questions like what are you citing like what deck are, what deck are you even right. running you know yeah. but it was my like my it was my NAWCQ box and it was like it had all about the four hundred dollars worth of cards and it was just I don't know but um, I salvaged uh, I got a lot of spare uh, parts for this deck and, and Kobe helped me put together a few stuff and, and so just like so give you guys this profile um, I don't have all the cards but I'll, I, I'll, t I'll tell you how many of them you need to run and I'll give you a good analysis of it so all right let's get right into this deck profile uh, triple Snoop Dogg because he's a bomb. Mm -hmm. And uh, Triple Jerry, like I've Tom and Jerry, yeah, eats man. a donut. Uh, don't, three. And people don't play three, freaking play three. I know they're like five bucks each right listen now. Listen to play the guy, three. Fluffle what players, listen to the guy that's topped twice now with the deck, oh my god. And has also been playing this for months. Yeah, he, a year. He would have been years. on top eight table one a Matt if he didn't get his deck jacked. Oh yeah. You would have won out. Um, Absolutely. I, I lost against Cosmos today. <laughs> Because I opened three bear today, and they opened like the farm grill two ETL. It was I wasn't even mad. I was actually just laughing. Um, set toy vendor, uh, from your deck. It's kind of like a, that that uh, brotherhood bear. No, that fire fist yeah, yeah. bear yeah. that like sets tinky. This sets toy vendor. So uh, we found that out today, but it's just it's kind of cool how that worked out. Uh, double wings triple is way too inconsistent, and you don't have enough stuff in your hand that has effect wise. Like you can only use this once per turn, and if you draw them that much. Uh, if you have to use this three times, you're probably going to lose because you're not playing consistent enough. Uh, double sheep, bounce dog back up to your hand, special and agent from your grave to recycle re your resources, and then send chain back out just to, you know, uh, get uh, another fright for card from your deck to your hand. Uh, two is perfect. Two is the perfect number. Don't side, don't side any of this out. I'm just, I'm just saying, don't side any of this out ever. Uh, that is your core. Is there not anything well, like within this core that can cause a consistency consistency oh, problem, it, or do you you, need. or do you just you have this like right where it should be? Yeah, like don't this, touch it. Don't touch this. Don't touch okay. this. Like honestly, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> don't touch this. <laughs> but for real though, like yeah, don't side any of that out. Um, okay, that sounds good. We got triple chain because uh, whenever you sent to the, from the field or the hand of the grave, search he's a proper card. Broke, God dude. dang, he's amazing. <laughs> like you fuse him a chain, you go into like. Uh, fret for sheep, and then you get miracle fusion. Like, and you run over their crap, and then you just go run into their life points with wolf. And it's, it's just it's the tits. I did like eight times a day. Um, double sabers. This was at three, but uh, I decided to bump it down to two because I wanted extra king of the swamp. Because king of the swamp can be this, this a uh, homeboy along with all these other ones. So, do you feel like with this card, you know, just playing, you know. Your ratio with this and King of the Swamp, yeah. there's, you know, is it like an equal ratio? Oh, for or, sure. It or is there always like, is there like an advantage is to playing this card at two and not playing like King at a certain um, ratio? And, and this can special from the grave, like it's like a place better uh, effect. A King of Swamp can't do that. But the, the thing is, time, like Swamp like searches Polly. Yeah, Swamp searches Polly and they confuse it in the grave. And Swamp can be, I, I've had like, whenever before I ran three Swamp, I had this in the grave and I'd be like, I wish this was something else. Um, like I wish that was like a chain or something, but King of the Swamp can be a chain if he needs to be. So yeah, it, it just opens up your plays. Um, these are Coles, because my Maxi's got jacked today. But <laughs> it is what it is, man. Busted. Triple Maxi. This was the MB mother effing P today. Oh my gosh. I used like, it a lot too. Even against Cosmos, I was like, you wear the go one for one or maybe even a plus one every once in a while. Their e God like, dang. Yeah, dude. It was so good. I so used good. it in my last game and he likes to, he like. He special summoned, I changed it to the E-Telly, and he was an idiot and special summoned another time, and I yeah. freaking top decked like exactly what I needed. Like, it was ridiculous. Uh, run three of these. Uh, this is like, 
just we couldn't find another one because it has multiple with. uses basically <laughs> this is probably yeah run three like i said my stuff got jacked so uh it is what it is these are like a 12 dollar common now <laughs> so it's hard yeah. to find a third one. i have an extra one for you <laughs> all right so triple up starts uh hogan yeah triple hogan whatever uh consistency uh don't really side this. Don't really side these out <laughs> unless you unless I'll you go the go to the Magical Springs. Um, I side these out for Magical Springs, three Magical Springs today. Uh, like Triple Maxine, Triple Magical Spring is a auto winning as Pepe with this deck. And it just is because they don't have anything to block it. And then you can really and I attack I attack today. How many times did I attack today with the Wolf on that one turn? Oh my gosh, dude! I fused like I watched six or seven times with um going into like dude, fight for Wolf. You freaking like because even if they have like two <laughs> DJ in hand, they don't run traps. So you can just just poke at their face with it like in and with 2k six times was 12 and then even if they bought two it was still 8k so um yeah if they don't run they don't pepe doesn't run traps so like i said get into these or i'm sorry side these out and get in your magical springs and your max c's um i played three pepe's today two of them uh on the matches they they didn't even like like they're scared they're, they're on scale five the whole entire time between wisdom eye yeah. and uh Draco plush or whatever. Dude, I kept, yeah, like I was saying, I kept siding out, like freaking, I would side out like 1 0, like, I mean, one Dragon Pit, I would side out like Oak Dragon, like. Yeah. This is your fusion team. Um, this can be at three if you want it. Oh, man, I don't know. This is really good though. Yeah, so how do you how do you feel your ratios are with this? You know, is there anything that you'd kind of swap out, you know, three, three of this, two of this, or you know, how do you how this, do you feel okay, about your ratio? Uh, I side the second dark fusion for when I play against crap like Satellar Knights, which I did uh, match one today, and I sided in the second dark fusion because uh like Phoenix Chain is still a thing with them. Uh, and they, they still run stuff like that. Yeah. So uh side in the deck and deck and, deck and dark fusion, the second dark fusion. <laughs> just the deck and dark fusion. Just because <laughs> it uh, it makes it to where it can't be targeted. Yeah. And um, also if they run Chiron, Chiron targets us. Yeah. Um, so, um, aside in the second one, if they're playing Magic Spectres, or if they're, they're playing like some weird magician with Chiron in it, um, this will recycle this. So you can technically run three of these. Oh, it's the game um, like, I, like I'll send Chain to the Graver once in a while, and I wish that like, be like, man, I already used this once per turn. That once that turn, and so I'm like, oh wait a minute, I can search for this now. So it's just it's just really good. And so have you, you ever thought of uh, you know bumping this up to two just nah, because of its to. uses, or it, you know the, it's just it's it's fine where I it's mean, at. Honestly. You know? um, I, I would take it. I'm going to take it out probably in a few months. All the reason why I'm maining it right now is because MST isn't a thing right now. They're not maining MST. Um, and if they do, they're not going to main one MST for this card. They're just not. Because they're not going to main the MSTs for the toy vendors and the Magical Springs and the Fusion Reserves. I mean, so I, I'm going to keep this in until further notice. So, <laughs> so. triple uh, Build-A-Bear. Build-A-Bear. Broke. And triple fusion reserve. I played a fluff on mirror match today, and it was the most. Um, Dude, they didn't know what the hell they, they were getting into. So they, <laughs> they I like, I cited uh, MSTs, team, and I was like, I was like, this is gonna be fun. Some so <laughs> I, they, I went like double sheep because I knew, I know the fluffles. Uh, they can't like get over. They can't make a sell for a turn. They just can't. So I'd go like double sheep. I'd side in night beams for this because they're playing this, and I cited in the MSTs to pop the toy vendor before they could use their wings, and they were like, okay. So that was pretty fun. Um, that's 40. I don't have all this extra. Uh, Are we gonna the extra right now? Yeah, I, get, I got bumped it down from my $30 Tigers to mine. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> whatever, it is. it's all good though. I mean, it's start from scratch, but uh, that guy, you know, Karma, Karma, you know what I mean? He's gonna, he'll get a God Slap one day. Uh, fuse, blow up the field, send that stuff to the grave, Miracle Fuse with this, attack for game with Wolf. It's crazy, like, like I said, if, you, if, if even if they have like two DJ in hand, you could fuse like your whole entire graveyard and attack like twenty thousand times with this, and then just get burn, make them make them burn through other DJs and still get eight K in one. I I potentially did twelve K in one turn, yeah. um, but he blocked two of them, so it was pretty crazy. Um, our mateys uh, slash what's that B battle of boxer league yoke? Oh, league yoke, yeah. And he comes back eight hundred stronger. Um, he's he's freaking sick. Dude, I saw you freaking like, dude, that Tyler Knight player when you did oh that. Oh my god, he was dude, like, what? He freaking misplayed, and then you blew. Oh his yeah, he tried. To, he tried to evade this. He tried to evade that. He didn't know what it, was. It, it comes back as a new monster. And he was like, because he thought he, he was confident about that Baylor too, for whatever reason.
total misplay. He was confident about the Baylor, and then like Sam just fucking like dick slapped him with. Yes. <laughs> these are one ofs. Uh, these two are one ofs. This is actually two of. Um, I run this for two reasons because of fusion reserve because it has, says fluffle bear on it, and you can search it. Also, um, I actually learned that uh, they can't special back their hat tricker. Yeah. Not their hat tricker. Their uh, trick clown. Yeah. If you go into this and you take the trick clown because it becomes an equipped spell to this, and this becomes thirty-two, and this can run over their you know, they're big boss guys or whatever. So that's the only time I ever really go into that guy. Uh, is like, you know, for that, whatever. Uh, King of Swamp will go into this guy. He's a Volcasaurus. And uh, today I, I uh, targeted a Virgil and blew that Virgil up for 2,500. Dude, and they there's just, BA there? Yeah, there's BA there. It's just a little bit. Um, they run this at two. It's a Call of the Haunted. Uh, usually get it to bring back this bad boy or Tiger because they'll boost each other. Or just get this because he's a mother effort to get rid of. So, um, your other, my other stuff that got stolen, uh, I had a Mist Dweller, Castell, Honor Arc, and Photon Strike Bouncer. Uh, Photon Strike Bouncer is good because two level sixes, which is um, Wolf and Tiger, that's 7,700 if both of them attack um, at the very minimum. And then Photon Strike Bouncer, if they're playing, if they're playing against Pepe for sure, um, all their, any monster effect that would activate, they would burn for 1,000. Or they could just go ahead and insta fusion themselves and burn for the rest. Or like, whatever, you know? So, um, yeah. That car's really good. Um, I, for the side, these are yeah, goals. Well, the sides are lost because. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what sucks. It's Triple like, MSG. Yeah. I sided it in because it's like against what a like, Cosmo Floodgate today, um, and also against God. What was that? I played Cleefort on crack today. It was like lo yeah, lose one turn. God, that deck was that cancer, was but it was deck, so good. Um, and then put, at worst case scenario, uh, you pop your own toy vendor with this, and you can just. Go into dog, dog will search, so you technically Dude, still break even with it. Too. Side your upstarts out and side this in for Pepe and Magicians. Um, what else did I mean? Or side, uh, double Danko. What else did I side? Galaxy Cyclone. Uh, double Night Beam. Double, oh yeah, Double Night Beam. Um, God dang, I lost those, those ulties. God. Oh, dude, sucks. yeah, and like, what sucks is like Sam was borrowing. Uh, my Dinko. Dinko. <laughs> yeah. He was borrowing sucks, my Dinko, man. and he was borrowing two of my Magical Springs and one of your Magical Springs. And one of my oh, Dinkos, fuck, I too. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. I forgot all that. So, yeah, man. Okay, so camera up here for a second. Oh, fuck it, if you want to steal Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. cards, Come that's fine. Me. But steal some comments. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. Like, just steal some comments or something that's not, like, a whole lot of... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, I don't know. Just... No, how about just not steal cards? Let's just not do that. You know what I mean? Like... Well, no one stole me and Cole's stuff. I'm pretty mad about it, but... I'll get over it, but the thing is, is like, <laughs> it's like, they I gotta live with it now, so, but, um, oh, dude, what was the other one, okay, uh, Foolish Burial, because, uh, Sing Glow Bulb, Glow Bulb and Dog is not Yeah, you were playing, cool. yeah, you, were you maining Foolish? I was maining, you can main Foolish if you want and take out a, uh, take out, like, an upstart for it if you wanted to. Yeah, I don't you know. were playing like the Nat Beast combo with Glow yeah. Ball because you can build the Glow Ball off of Vendor, you know, like. When it, so, like, yeah, I mean, that's what sucks is like we can't show you the full deck profile, but like. The, the majority of it. Yeah, the majority of it's here, but you know. The stuff I actually went into was the Night Beams. Uh, going to Night Beams for like Heroes, um, Satellar Knights. Burning Abyss, if you play Burning Abyss. So I only run those if like, I really need to. I side in the Night Beams. I side in these against every Pepe Magician because it freaking locks them out, especially if you go first. Um, you have these, and you have your uh, Max Seas, and you have your Wing Bear Combo. You have 13 cards in your deck um, that are based on just drawing. So you draw into these, and your Max Seas so fast whenever you're um, playing Pepe. And it just literally locks them out. Like, it locks them out. Not only can they not do anything, but they, they just, they'll be like, oh crap, I'm, on, I'm under Max Seas now. What do I do? So what is it, the, the magical the Spring Max Spring Max Lock Combo? What do we call that today? Is that we patented as the, well, what was the Spring it? Max. Spring, Ma spring Max, Max Lock. Spring. Max Spring Max Lock. Yeah, Max Spring Lock. Yeah. Spring cool. lock. yeah. Um, so, goes, I didn't go into. Like with with anything that you you know with this entire deck, and you've been playing this for quite a while, and this is your second top with this. You know what? Like what? Is there anything out of this so far that you would change? You know, is there, you know, anything uh, that you've really been looking yeah, into yeah, okay, messing with? Shit, and and not only that, but like you know, you know how are be awesome. how are you going to fix this deck? You know, post boss. Here's one thing. Here's one thing. Um, I'm not running Fluffle Al, but Fluffle Al is going to be really good uh, whenever, uh, whenever, no, whenever Nat Beast becomes, because he he is a polymerization, he's not yeah. a spell. Yeah. Like Fluffle Al, you can actually run. Um, I'm thinking about siding too for people that are playing Nat Beast deck and um, people that are remaining like anti spell fragrances and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I probably I would probably take out 
like upstarts because the more fluffles the better the chances of you drawing stuff off the toy vendor and being able to so do you think it'd just be like, a card that you could side just in case you run oh, into yeah, that so matchup i'll side two fluffles now that boshes out i will like i just send two fluffles owls now that boshes out yeah and, you know, and is this you know it just generally is this going to stay the same is there anything oh yeah. are you going to add any of the new cards you know what are, what do you plan on doing like, with this dude, to really I, honestly i even took out the dark holes in the Rygekis because i can't combo with it like you you, you let your frighters do the work that's all, like, it's all what it really comes down to. And, and, I, and I took that thing from, um, I played Evolves for a long time and did really good with those. And, like, you, we, if you let Logan and Dolphin do all the work and you base your deck around getting into those as soon as you can, it's kind of like the same concept. Um, you know, let, let this blow your stuff up. Uh, let this be a, you know, a jerk to get around. Same with this. And then just, like, and let's be your OTK machine. You know, let this burn your opponent. You know what I mean? Like, it, you have everything you need in your extra deck. It's just getting into your extra deck and um, making that work. So, um, like I said, I don't even main like the uh, Dark Hole Night Gekin stuff because you can't really combo with it that much. Um, I don't main MSTs. It's all about draw and like getting into your big guys because like I said, they're they're uh, they're jerks to get rid of. Like you can't really get rid of them that easy. So, I mean, um, shout out to Team Bro Uh Oh man. Tyler talked today, it's pretty good. Uh, yes, yes, tops, yeah. That guy. The, the, this guy top. I'll say shout out to Alien Games, Jinx, Oklahoma. Yes, sir. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, uh, shout out to Frostfire Games in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. And uh, shout out to my mama. Oh, uh, shout out to Epic Games. Epic, oh, Epic Games in Arlington. Thanks for the deck profile, Sam. And we'll see you later. See you, man.